recognizing Vancouver West End. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Well, I'm proud to stand today as a member of a, of a government, but more importantly, as a member of a legislature that is opposed to conversion therapy. It's been inspirational to hear the words of members of all political parties united to say that this practice, a practice which harms LGBTQ youth immeasurably and thus harms society, is something that we do not stand for in British Columbia, and it is not accepted or acceptable here. Honourable Speaker, I'm glad that this conversation, and I thank the member for Powell River Sunshine Coast, is now out in the open because uh, for years a number of us uh, have spoken with the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Education, other places uh, to ensure that the BC government was not in any way funding, uh, allowing people to build to support this practice, uh, allowing public funds and resources to go into supporting this. Uh, and I've been assured by the Ministry of Health in specific that there is no way currently that somebody could bill uh, to accept money uh, to do a practice like conversion therapy. Now that's different from Ontario. Ontario, I understand, introduced legislation to make it clear to actually ban that billing category from existing in their health uh, legislation. In BC, there is no such category. So uh, for a number of years, that hasn't been possible. And I'm, I'm really happy to hear that. However, when I say I'm glad this, this has become visible, I say it because uh, the idea of a therapy to convert you from what you are to something else is really about, at its core, invisibility, about erasing people's identities, making them disappear, uh, eradicating them um, uh, from the planet, from this, their ability to exist. Uh, and I've spoken with uh, one of the most outspoken people in BC about the, the practice of conversion therapy, Peter Gadgex. I've met with him a number of times. He uh, believes uh, and shares quite uh, uh, strongly that this harms people for many decades, could change their entire reality. And he believes that uh, uh, what happened to him should happen to no one else. And I thank him for his ca campaign to make this clear. Vancouver, of course, uh, uh, thanks to his advocacy, passed a a resolution banning conversion therapy in Vancouver. Of course, uh, I think United Today as a House will be clear that we as a government and we as an opposition uh, all together say it shouldn't be allowed anywhere in BC. Uh, on Friday, we have the International Day Against Homophobia and Transphobia and Biphobia in BC. Uh, so I think people celebrating that day will acknowledge that today we are also taking a step forward. Of course, we've changed our human rights code to in involve uh, gender identity and expression. That took long, long years of advocacy, but we got it done. Um, and just as importantly, we are now proactive in our school system with the sexual orientation and gender identity policies uh, embedded in all classes, because it's not enough to say, don't tell people they shouldn't exist. I think it's just as important to say, you exist and we love you for your existence, and we celebrate your ability to be who you are. Because for a long time, going through the school system, um, you would be forgiven to, for thinking that LGBTQ people didn't even exist. They didn't appear in any curriculum. There were no stories about them. Uh, and certainly growing up, that was the way it was for me. I think the, the few times I saw LGBT folks, it was uh, on movies about them dying uh, because of AIDS. And certainly people growing up in my generation saw AIDS and LGBT folks as somehow correlated because there was such little education or information out there, just phobia uh, and stigma. Uh, I want to thank all of those who've gone before for educating, for advocating, for protesting, for being locked up, for doing what they needed to do to, to spread education and advocacy so that we could get to today to be taking the step that united as a government and as opposition, we could be opposing this. Because a few years ago, you'd never even hear words like trans in this house. Indeed, when I joined this legislature back in 2008, I think the word transgender had never actually been said in this chamber before. Uh, and that was 10 years ago, uh, 11 years ago. Like, how is that possible, Honorable Speaker? But indeed, uh, society is progressing at a fast pace because we're uniting together. So thank you to the member for putting this on the floor so that we can all unite and so that ministers and everybody can go back and think of ways they can do uh, to affirm people's value, their ability to exist, and indeed the joy that the great diversity in our province should bring us all. Uh, thank you, and I gladly support this motion.